I was asked to make a tutorial about something in the Minecraft tile making. Um, and I'm also using Illustrator. So let's just begin. Uh, I'm going to create a new text layer in the Minecraft 10 font. Uh, let's make it 300 points. And just write anything, literally anything. Um, I'm going to center it. I'm going to make sure the spacing is minus 30 points. I'm pretty sure it's points. If not, then it's percentages. Uh, I'm just going to align it again and make sure it's aligned to center. Okay, um, next thing I'm going to do, an effect, extrude and bevel. Going to reset everything to zero, put perspective on 35 and rotation on 35, and just play with it until I find the right angle. Uh, also, going to increase this extrusion depth to 130, perhaps 115. Yes, that's quite fine. And going to add a little bit of rotation on the z axis to regenerate the missing parts here, so just like this. Uh, press OK. You can change the color to whatever color you want, it doesn't matter, because now you're going to type, create outlines, and then edit, sorry, uh, object, and expand appearance. So every face on the text will be converted to a shape, or rather a path. So this is good for us because then we can just choose these and give them any fill we would like. So for example a blue fill let's say or even perhaps a gradient. So just type this linear gradient rotate it by 90 degrees and any color you'd like. Uh, I'll go with some blue. Let's see. Some purplish. Maybe actually flip these two. Yeah. I guess this seems quite fine. Um, actually, maybe just a little brighter on this. Just weaken. Okay, cool. For the bottom ones, I'm just going to select them all. I'm going to color them to be some sort of purple again, but darker. Obviously, the light is coming from above, so we want to make them darker. Uh, for everything else, just make it black. And this. Pretty sure I made them all black. Uh, probably. This annoying bit, like, annoys me a little bit. It'll probably be fixed later. Um, for the stroke, I'm going to create a new group. Um, yeah, you can create a new group. And I'm going to take the pen tool and just go over everything I just made. Just over the outer edges of this text. So I'm going to speed this section up a little.
for these two points. I'm going to grab them, one of them at least. I'm going to hit Command J to join, or just right click and join. Then I'm going to remove the one that is not located properly, and then the path is closed. I'm just going to fix this little point. Then select the path, choose a black fill, a black stroke, make it about 16, I found it's pretty fine, and make sure that the stroke, stroke, wow, is aligned to the outside, like this. Very nice. Um, and then just repeat the same thing for the rest of the word, which I'm probably not going to do right now, so let's just hide the stroke. Next thing, the fun part, um, actually creating the grid that I was talking about in the Discord and um, laying down pixels. It's basically like pixel art. So for that, you'll need a, a little bit of math and you'll need a calculator too. Basically, um, I was calculating something and I found out that, let's see. Create a new group and let's just get something here. Okay. So I found out that with this font, every section that is, that its length is this, this whole thing, is one pixel. And every thicker section, let's say um, this, this and the letter i too because it's just like a single line that is the same thickness that's the good thing about this font is that this and this and this they're the same thickness so that's real nice it's very consistent each one of this is three pixels by my measurements wow i can't even write pixels properly so basically you'll need a calculator for this and let's say you have to count and it's just some basic math so oh wow okay so for every section that is three pixels you're gonna add one three then for every space because we made it minus 30 it's also one so uh let's say that this part equals to this part and it's really hard to see um oh wow crazy so let's say this part equals to this part and they both equal to one pixel exactly one um so let's just do it it's three plus one plus three plus one so that is Eight plus three plus two plus three. If I'm not wrong, that would be also eight, so sixteen <coughs> plus one plus three plus one plus three plus one plus two plus three plus two. plus one and so on so I'm just going to calculate this and I'll be back once I'm finished okay so I got that the whole length the length of this whole anything text is 61 pixels now you're going to go to the rectangular grid tool um and you're going to double click it and then you're going to set the vertical dividers the amount of dividers that are going vertically to 61 minus 1 so that would be 60 and for the horizontal dividers i found that every letter in this font is exactly 10 pixels high so you're going to do 10 minus 1 this will give you the number of 
dividers that are going horizontally. Um, you're always going to have to subtract one for this. Um, so let's say I hit OK. And I'm going to create a new group for this. I'm going to stretch a grid over the whole thing. There you go. Nice. Just make sure it aligns perfectly with the edge points of your text. And it seems like it does. And you're going to hit E to bring the transform to, I believe. Then you're going to go to the free distort mode. You're going to grab each corner and align it with the other two points of the text. And then if you did the math correctly, the grid should align grid. Wow. The grid should align perfectly with your text. Every divider should be aligned. And this math was not easy uh, to actually, let's say, find. Can't find the right word for this. Okay. So once you've made this grid, you're going to take the fill bucket tool, I believe this is, live paint bucket. Hit K on the keyboard, I believe that is. Actually, yeah, there you go. That's still aligned. Um, make sure your grid isn't selected. Make sure nothing is selected. Command Shift A. If you're in Windows, then Control Shift A. Then you can pick any color, even from here whatever i don't know and you can just um actually do select the grid for the first time make it live paint and there you go now you don't have to, to select anything and you can just paint on this this is literally like pixel art so i don't know yeah you can make anything you want on this and if you want to clear uh, just hit slash or question mark, um, basically this or this or this, color fill, gradient fill, or no fill. No fill will basically, is basically the eraser for this. So you can just go over any mistake that you've made uh, or just select the whole thing then go no fill. I'm pretty sure it should erase. Yep. Just it. And uh, yeah, I guess that is it. One more thing, if you want to actually have thinner bezel, because uh, let's say I take this, uh, no. Let's say I take color, and I make it a little brighter. Let's give it something similar. You can see that the bezel is pretty thick. For that, you'll have to do something. Uh, double click the grid and add back the one that you subtracted, 61 and 10. Now multiply this whole thing by 6. So 60, and this one is 366, I believe. Yep. And subtract one again, so 59 and 365. Stretch that grid over again. You don't actually have to stretch it all the way because you can also always um, distort it. So here and there and here. Perfect. Uh, make it live paint. And there you go. This is a thinner uh, grid with thinner tiles, basically. And this is not the right fill. This is no fill. And there you go. The only disadvantage I found of this grid, actually there's two of them. One, you can paint outside the letters, but this is not really a problem because you can always erase. 
And if you did the math correctly, it will stay within the letter space. And if I can also paint correctly, I probably use a tablet for this. Yeah. Um, tons of stuff you can do with this. Um, and the second disadvantage is that you can't actually change the size of the tile you're filling. So you'll always be stuck with this one. If you want to create bigger tiles, um, like just simpler, a simpler method would be to create another grid with different, um, ratio. Like not a ra actually yeah a ratio a resolution or a number of division y you get me but this method actually just unlocks a ton of potential and I think it's really cool and this is actually how I made the cracks on the text you can just go here say Make something like this, take a different color, add this highlight, and let's also add a shadow. Uh, I think I actually did it wrong, but whatever. Yeah, that I, I totally did make it wrong. Yeah, whatever. This this looks bad, but you get it. So, yeah. Oh, I actually did find what I was doing wrong. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Perhaps this will look better. Yeah. Let's just fix this. Fix. Fix. Oh, there we go. So this is like some sort of crack in the text. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Also remember to continue the stroke, something which I didn't do. Um, but yeah, this was the process of making this thing. Uh, if you liked the video, then leave a comment so I know that I helped you. And, uh, yeah, have a good day or night or whatever. I, I, I don't know. Okay. okay.